guys, it's been a really long time. I uh, accidentally went and spoke at a bunch of schools. I'll post some video of that eventually, but I thought today, hey, it's a great day. Let's talk about lesbian sex. Um, so can you hear my computer humming really loud right now? Shh, it's okay. We're all just gonna have to put up with it right now. I don't know if y'all have noticed this, but people are really confused about lesbian sex. People are confused, porn is confused, I was confused. I figured between two dudes it was like this. And then I was told by guys at my school. I don't know why I was listening to guys at my school as an authority on lesbian sex, so that's a different story. But they said lesbian sex goes like this. They're like, oh yeah, lesbians scissor. Which sounds like they chop each other's vaginas off, but that's not what happens, as it turns out. That was my first cue that people are really confused confused about lesbian sex. Another clue was that I was interacting with lots of queer women who themselves were like, how do we have sex? I know I like you, but I'm not quite sure how exactly I'm supposed to do it. It's so clear when you watch mainstream lesbian porn that it's there for straight dudes. It's like, that wouldn't even feel that good. Why are her nails so long? I think that the mainstream discourse about sex is that sex requires a penis. When people think of sex, they think of penis and vagina sex. When they think of the end of sex, they think of the penis ejaculating. The mere thought that pleasurable sex could exist without a penis makes a lot of people go like, whoa, no, no. I've actually heard people say that lesbian sex is not real sex. Because if there's not a penis, it's obviously not real, right? Lesbian sex is just like everybody else's sex. Are you pleasuring someone else with your mouth? With your hands? With a sex toy? Are you pleasuring yourself while someone else is present? Are you naked? Is it possible that someone could have an orgasm in this situation? If you've answered yes to any of these questions, you are probably having sex. Some people like penetration, others don't. Some prefer oral. Touching thighs and backs, butts and boobs. These are all ways that lesbians have sex. Whatever happens, as long as it's safe and consensual, it's perfectly okay. How will you know when to end? Just ask. Are you ready to be done? A few things that I think are good to avoid would be comparing your body to theirs. It's really good to check in first, get consent, say, hey, is it cool if I do this? Ask them what it's okay to touch, what it's not okay to touch, or if there's anything they like in particular. Also good to avoid having some sort of goal, the most common being orgasm. Sometimes you gotta figure each other out a little bit first. But once you get there, oh yeah, babe, it's good. It's good. The best things about being a queer woman are easier to have tons of orgasms, vaginas, that should be the obvious one, and no pregnancy, usually. It doesn't mean that you cannot contract STIs. You gotta protect yourself. I've had a lot of requests asking how to protect yourself if you're in a relationship with another woman. Where are my dental dams? Damn it! The main way to protect yourself is with one of these bad boys, a dental dam. This is just a piece of latex that will provide a barrier to make sure you're not getting in contact with your partner's fluid. If you don't have dental dams, there is a solution for this. Male condoms are widely available. A little bit like this. Chop the tip off. <laughs> chop it off. And then you'll have a little donut like this. And you want to chop down one side. Ta -da! Another good thing that everyone should know about is latex gloves. This is especially good if you have cuts on your hands or if your nails are sharp, blood can transmit STIs. I like totally gash myself with a knife. So it'd be a good time to use latex gloves. It smooths everything out, the textures a lot more velvety, add a little bit of lube, and this can actually feel really nice. Like your hand turns into a sex toy. I don't know about you, but that seems pretty hot to me. little thing before I go and get out of your friggin face is to remember that before you enter into a sexual relationship with anyone regardless of your sexual orientation it's always a good idea just kind of know your own body first um that might include masturbating if you want to pull a mirror out and look at what's between your legs find the clitoris find the opening to your vagina find the anus find your labia touch it all like this touch it just like that I will add any other stuff to the description. Uh, yeah, happy vagina sex. I'll see you soon. Okay, bye. Vagina. Slipped your mom. Oh. What?